Imagine this. You pay thousands to go to university, you spend four years of your life studying like crazy, and then a war breaks out in your country, and instead of staying and dying, you seek refuge in another country, only to find that you can't work anymore. Right now, many of the world's 25 million plus refugees are restricted from working in their host countries, no matter what experience that they might have. You could easily brush this off and say, we'll move somewhere else then. But it's incredibly difficult to move somewhere else through traditional humanitarian resettlement programs, which help refugees permanently settle elsewhere. Fewer than 1% of refugees have had this opportunity. A small company in Canada called Bonfire that makes procurement software often struggled with a talent gap that made it hard to find qualified new employees and wanted to do something to help the refugee crisis at the same time. They got in touch with Talent Beyond Boundaries who had visited Beirut and spoken with refugees, aid organisations and UN agencies on the ground. All three of these groups confirmed that there were many skilled refugees wanting a solution. Talent Beyond Boundaries worked with refugees and over the course of a year created a detailed database of the skills of more than 11,000 people in Jordan and Lebanon who wanted to participate. Both Canada and Australia decided to run pilot programmes and the organisation also began working with companies interested in hiring refugees from small firms like Bonfire to corporations like Accenture. Based on a company's need, Talent Beyond Boundaries searches through the database to find potential candidates. In one case, a refugee will fill a role at a tool and dye company in a Canadian town where a business owner can't find new employees. Others will work as nursing aides or engineers. Talent Beyond Boundaries expects to help around 20 people move to Canada from Jordan and Lebanon through the pilot running this year. And at the request of the Canadian government, they're also beginning to work with refugees in Kenya. The first pilots in Canada and Australia are designed to remove administrative barriers to help thousands of other refugees immigrate in the future. They also hope to begin to bring refugees to other countries, and they're working with the UN Refugee Agency to develop a framework for alternative pathways for migration that other organisations can also use. The world needs more programmes like this, and the world needs more employers thinking like this. We make videos just like this one every week for our Facebook, Twitter and YouTube channel. Just search Ripple Zoo.